Hi, and welcome to x Photography. My name is Daniel. As you can see, it's a lovely spring day here. That also means the end of the season. I managed to photograph like five objects this season, uh, which I'm quite happy with. Still have some to, <laughs> to edit though. Today, we're going to learn about dew heaters, how to control them, what kind of types there is, how to mount them, the way I use them. Follow along and we'll check out some dew heaters. Dew heaters. How do you do it? <laughs> okay, bad joke, it's on me. You see that orange thing around the, the mirror here? That is one of my dew heaters. That one is glued directly to the, the secondary mirror. It supplies some, some voltage to keep the mirror warmer than the surrounding to make sure it doesn't uh, dew up. But bear with me, maybe some of you have come across these ones. It's a simple um, Velcro. You put it on the lens and you connect it to some battery or something. Bear in mind though that these, you can see if we can focus here. There we go. This is a RCA connector and not the standard uh, 5.5 millimeter. You can power these directly off batteries, but it's recommended to use some sort of dew controller. And I'll tell you why. If you apply too much heat, you may get some uh, some strange uh, heat shifts or, or, or something. But also you might drain your battery. This is, I don't know, approximately 50 bucks or something. It uh, comes in uh, various uh, sizes. This particular one is for a refractor but there is also um, some kind of new dew heaters which you mount uh, especially for Schmidt Cassegrains. Celestron has just announced that you can mount uh, um, that kind of dew heater around the corrector lens. Uh, quite nifty things actually. Um, same there, you have some cable ties and you can uh, manage the cable routing very nicely. But let's talk more about uh, how to control uh, dew heaters. This is my dew controller. This particular one is the Pegasus Astro. It's a power box, so it does more than controlling uh, how much power to apply to my dew heater. It's taking some readings from this uh, sensor. It's reading ambient temperature and also the humidity, and it calculates the dew point. The dew point is where the uh, air around us is starting to form dew. According to that measurement, it's applying just sufficient amount of power to heat up, in this case, my secondary mirror. It could be the corrector lens on a schmidt grain, or it could be the front lens of a um, refractor or even a guide scope or a DSLR lens. This um, has also the capability of uh, outputting DSLR voltage and also I can toggle 12 volts on and off. So this is a quite nifty thing. This is a dew heater I use when I'm out in the field um, shooting with a DSLR. Just plug in the DC plug and the other end in a, a power bank or something. I also need to mention the use of dew shields. Uh, they are quite good and require no power. They also block light. This is a manual control you can use um, to set the power to your dew heaters manually. These are cheaper than, for instance, the Pegasus Astro Power Box, which also controls 12 volt outputs and USB ports and stuff like that. Celestron has just come out with this one as well. This one is just like the Pegasus power box, uh, control everything, but you can also mount it on a dovetail. There's a backside of everything. And right now we are <laughs> looking at the backside of my telescope. We have checked out the uh, dew heater rings and dew straps and, and everything which applies heat. 
Uh, we also talked about how to control those things. There's one more thing we need to look at, and that is moving some air around. Right here, I have been fitting a backplate uh, of carbon fiber and attached a fan. Uh, this is a 90 millimeter Noctua fan. Those are very silent and, and basically no vibrations, um, which is important as well. I read online that there are actually two schools of <laughs> moving air around. Um, especially when we're talking about primary mirrors. It took up different uh, point of views, um, whether it's a good idea to blow air onto the mirror or suck air from the bottom of the tube, making the airflow move around the mirror. If you apply some air, um, blowing air onto the primary mirror, it could uh, be that way that it uh, makes uh, cold spots on certain parts of the mirror. Flowing air around um, is probably the way to prefer. Uh, so I went with it that way. I haven't been able to, or been able, I haven't been doing A-B tests. And, and so I can't check whether it's a good or bad thing, but I guess I also could attach a, a dip switch or something, which makes me taking control of which way the fan Will, will either suck or, or blow. So this is the third and final step in how I control my dew. I really hope you have been enjoying this video and hopefully learned something. And as always, keep safe out there. Bye.